Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is open a terminal. I like hitting Control-Alt-T. You're going to want to go ahead and update. So we're going to do sudo apt-get up apt gate apt gate apt get update we're gonna run that my password is one two three after you've done this we're actually going to install it I hit this keyboard again all of these commands will be in a description which you can access and run this should work on most Linux distributions After you see that Apache 2 has been installed, we want to be we want to be able to test it. So I refuse to touch Firefox. We're going to open up a web browser, and we're going to type the lo a local IP address 127.0.0.1, and you should be greeted with this page. Now understand that this page is actually located. We'll open up a we'll open up Nautilus. We will go to var. And here you go. So it's slash var, it's www.html. This is where this web page is actually located. Okay, let's skip this. Let's go back to installing the next part where you're actually installing MySQL. So you'll type this command. And you will let it install. This right here is the password for the MySQL root user. Make it whatever you want. I'm going to do 123. 123. Because you guys totally can't guess my password. <laughs> After you've done that command, the next thing you want to do is to tell MySQL to create its database directory structure where it, you know, it's going to store its information. So we are going to type and use this command. After that, we want to run a simple security script. It's going to remove some dangerous defaults, and we're just we're just going to beef up the security of our you know, to our database a little bit. So we're going to run the script by typing this. Right here, it's going to ask us for the root password, which we set earlier. And if you remember, my super duper god level password is one two three. Right here, it asks if you already have a root password set. I can hit no. This allows anonymous users to log on just for the test. I'm going to hit no. This doesn't allow root login remotely. I personally don't need this because this is just showing you how to basically set it up. So I'm also going to click no. And this right here, like when you uh, ran the previous script, it said it created a test database for you to use. We don't want to use that because I'm going to show you actually how to create a database. So I'm going to click no. And I would like to reload the privileges table now. After that's taken care of, what we're going to do is install PHP, because if you're going to be running a website on this, and you know, since you're installing Apache, obviously, we need to install PHP. So we're going to run this command. Go ahead and install it. After PHP is installed, one thing that you're going to want to be able to make sure now, this command automatically set this to work. However, if you're running a website with PHP, as you should be since you're still watching, you want to make sure that, you know, Apache can see, hey, index.php files can be, you know, registered as a homepage. So we're going to type in this to check. Notice how for me it already set index.php. If it doesn't set that for you, all you, you know, all you have to do is go to that line and type index.php, hit a spacebar or put it at the end, leave it on the same line, preferably. Once you've done that, you want to be able to install PHP modules, which I'll put in the description. I'm not going to film it. You know, it's you type in one command, you can install whatever you want. Now, what we want to be able to do is test our web server. I have Apache web server installed, the MySQL database installed but I don't actually have a website to show you, so I'm going to go with OS. Hmm, I think a something is, t is held down on my keyboard. I wonder what it could be. OS Ticket is, yeah, OS Ticket is basically a ticket server software for computer repair shops, you know, to help them track 
current jobs. So we're going to just download this to test. Now understand that for me to access that thing and to change things, I need to be able to be, I need to be running a, a, a root file manager, which I'm going to do here. So I have this downloaded. We're going to go to the location of that Ubuntu default page. We're going to remove it and we're going to put OS ticket. Now, again, this is completely optional. This is just to show you that I do not have the rights to do that. You blueby face. This is, this is strictly to show you that PHP and MySQL database is working. You lie. You lie, Linux. You lie. Here we go. HTML. We're going to paste it there. And here we are. So now what we want to do is go to that local IP address again. Notice right here it says uh, PHP is installed. The MySQL database is installed. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to skip to where I actually need to show you. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and show you how to create a database. What you're going to want to do first is we're going to go ahead and clear this terminal. And we are going to type this MySQL hyphen u root since that is since that is the username that we set previously and p it's going to ask us for the password and as you remember mine is one two three once you're going to be in here you'll be able to type show databases forgive this is a terrible keyboard all my sql commands need to be ended in that semicolon and it's going to show you all the databases so we want to be able to create one so we're going to type create database now right here you want to type the database name and since i am testing it with OS ticket, as you can see, I'm going to type OS ticket, and it created a new database. Now, if we type show databases again, you'll see where it says OS ticket. Remember that name of the database you just created. Let's see, I don't have this set right, so we're going to skip forward until I finish this. Okay, now understand right here, we actually don't need to do anything. My computer repair company is whir whir. My default email is whir whir at whir. Talk. <laughs> now down here is just to show you that the MySQL database is actually running properly. The name is OS ticket, the user was root, and the password was 123. And if you hit install, notice how it is actually working. That confirms that the MySQL database is in fact running. Now, if, you, if for some reason the local website for Apache does not, does not open, it's actually running here, that's why I didn't open on the new tab, you can type service Apache to, re, oops, let's see, we want to do sudo service Apache to restart, and it will, re, it will completely restart the Apache web server. So now that all that's taken care of, if we go to the IP address, were were here we are and it is running that is how you set up a mysql database apache and php